hello everyone uh, my name is jagadish nan tangaraj uh, i am from the school of computing uh, from bcu uh, today i am going to present about the module evaluation uh, with uh, it tech uh, for getting uh, student feedback on teaching so first uh, the feedback is uh, always important to know about uh, you know uh, something uh, usually we look the feedback from lecturer to students uh, uh, for for their learning uh, but uh, feedback on teaching uh, while we are online education and in digital education is very very important from students to the lecturer to uh, understand about the module to evaluate the module okay so module evaluation is a uh, uh, is getting a feedback from students uh, in a formal or informal way and it provide a uh, constructive feedback anonymously you know so uh, usually uh, in in person education that means uh, face to face education we can understand the students you know the students feeling about uh, our teaching but while we are doing online uh, you know uh, we, we don't uh, get uh, immediate feedback about our teaching methods or teaching content or assessment and anything okay so uh, the module evaluation help uh, to refine uh, teaching methods and uh, to improve the module content uh, by doing the module evaluation so uh, what are the advantages of the module evaluation so um, it's it's it allows uh, so it, it provides a chance to improve uh, things about the course content or uh, modules and while we are uh, getting feedback anonymously we can get uh, constructive and genuine feedback so feedbacks are not uh, positive all the time we can get a uh, negative or uh, negative as well so negative feedback mainly uh, help to refine the model contents and the teaching approach or methods and positive feedback provides uh, to cheer up the lecture and uh, keep up the same contents and methods for the the whole semester and also the for next semester so the module evaluation gives the you know enable to get a positive constructive feedback to re refine and refine the model content and the methods uh, for assessment as well so what are the tools are using uh, for model uh, evaluation so there are a uh, number of tools in uh, model evaluation for us, uh, we used uh, virtual learning environment and uh, external online survey for the model evaluation. So we are uh, mostly we use the Blackboard or uh, Moodle for as a uh, virtual learning environment in Ireland. So in a, uh, in a Moodle, we can uh, set up an assessment for uh, providing a model evaluation. That means um, feedback from the students. So we can uh, provide a, a native questionnaire. So the students can able to give the answers for the questions. Uh, questions, and also we can uh, we can uh, set up an online survey by using external uh, tools like uh, Vivox, Google Forms, or Socratic and SurveyMonkey, and etc. So the online survey, the online service uh, supports different format of questions. So, uh, and also it, they develop uh, visualized reports. So um, they, we can easily highlight the most or uh, least uh, like contents, methods, or assessments. So this is a sample uh, report of VVOX we used uh, in our model last semester. So uh, it, it helps to uh, highlight, uh, highlight the results immediately you know, so by using the visual uh, report. And the, when we use the uh, virtual learning environment, it, it uh, enables to, it allows to submit an uh, inline submission uh, with a word limit. So uh, students can uh, be able to uh, submit their, uh, you know, their, uh, uh, yeah, they, they can share their uh, you know, experience by using uh, inline submissions. So there are, there are many potential benefits by using this one, like uh, better feedback to academic. So they can give the more detailed report about the module and they, uh, it encourages uh, students to reflect uh, based on the Rolf theory. You know? So then we can give the uh, uh, guidance by uh, guidance to um, provide the feedback by using the learning outcomes and et cetera. Okay? So uh, they, can, they can share, um, where, whether we, we achieve the learning outcomes or not, you know, 
and what what's the the least favorite part or most uh, favorite part and so on and also we can uh, get uh, some unexpected or uh, surprising uh, feedback from the students when we are using the inline submissions so this is the sample uh, feedback we got or we received uh, last year you know so the student, students can able to submit their report as a form so they can write uh, about the module or the teaching methodology assessment and more. So uh, these are some comments uh, we received last year. So like, uh, you know, they, what they, what they uh, like more or uh, what, what what's their thought about the uh, topics and so on. So uh, the one thing is, you know, uh, the interesting thing is uh, one student uh, explained the least favorite part was the working with the people but they all came after the uh, week three, you know, so it's getting increased. The interesting rate is getting increased after the weeks. You know? So like uh, students can able to uh, submit their, uh, their you know, thoughts. So the, and comparing uh, the two reports, like uh, visualized reports helps to share the results immediately during, uh, during the lecture. And it's, it's easy to analyze the, than the written uh, submitted feedback. But uh, textual report enable to submit uh, you know, the detailed report about the module. So, but it's, it's very hard, it is very hard, harder to share and analyze, but it is a rich format. And the uh, module evaluation scheduling is also important to analyze or modify our uh, teaching approach or the contents into. So uh, normally, uh, module evaluation can be done at any stage, uh, but we uh, we recommend to use uh, the three stages. Uh, first one is the, uh, the starting stage, uh, which helps to refine uh, the expectation of the students, and uh, we can uh, gauge the you know the students' prior knowledge. So we can uh, we can um, refine our uh, content to their knowledge, and uh, for that stage, uh, the questionnaire uh, is the you know, probably better. Uh, next one is the middle stage. So in the middle stage, uh, if we if we receive any uh, feedback, we can uh, adapt our teaching methods or assessments to their expectations. Normally, uh, it's, it's very rare in in practice. But it's very beneficial. So in in that stage, as well, uh, we recommend the questionnaire, questionnaire type of uh, uh, feedback. And at the in the end stage, you know, uh, at the completion of the, at the end of the semester, uh, we can we can refine uh, the module content as assessment based on their previous students' experiences. So in that stage, we recommend to use the inline text uh, you know, submissions. And uh, and also uh, you know uh, we recommend to give us some mock associated with it to to engage them to uh, you know uh, to make them uh, submit uh, their um, evaluation. So as a conclusion, uh, it, the questionnaires are easy to set up uh, and easy to administer in the in the VLE, and uh, the inline uh, texts are very easy to set up and. Uh, useful resources of feedback. So the uh, EdTech uh, makes uh, getting feedback from the students easy and uh, it's, it's useful. It's uh, very useful in any teaching scenario, uh, especially in uh, online. So these are some references. Uh, thank you for your attention. And you know, if you have any questions. Thank you very much, uh, Jagad Soran. Uh, that's very informative uh, and uh, great to hear, you know, that that fl flipping the classroom almost, you know, where you're now making the focus on on feedback from from students. Um, I mean, and it's lovely to hear you use some of those, uh, you know, th where they, they can tell stories both visually, maybe if you like, as well as text based and, uh, you know, whatever, whatever they're comfortable with. Um, what's your own sense of it from from the students? Do they do they engage with this? Do they like providing this feedback, which of course is so is super important for us? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, last semester we uh, 
we conducted uh, two, uh, two, two stages, you know, the, in the middle of the stage, we conduct the uh, VVAX uh, uh, survey. So uh, in that, uh, we, uh, you know, uh, we learned about uh, their, uh, their potential of learning. So what they learned, uh, what are what uh, their ex expectations, and so on. So based okay. on that, we we refine uh, our stuff and we we slow down our uh, you know uh, the teaching. Uh, 